Welcome to an overview of importing designs into Altium Designer. In this brief video, we will cover the import wizard, the basics of how it works, and some important things to keep in mind. We will cover some tips and tricks to keep in mind as you complete the importing process. We'll also provide a quick look at our documentation so you can see the different tools that are supported by our import wizard. I will provide you a link of the documentation in the summary of this video. Essentially, this video will serve as the foundation for other videos that will follow that will cover importing files from specific CAD tools into Altium Designer. Now, if you're watching this video, it is most likely because you have to import designs from other CAD tools into Altium Designer. The reasons for this data or design migration could be vast. You could be working on a design and collaborating with other engineers. You may have a design that is already completed and needs to be revisioned. However, the original tool may not be available or supported. Or you've moved to Altium Designer as your tool of choice. For that, I congratulate you. Collaborating on designs between different EDA tools can be due to different processes, different software or hardware choices, etc. So it is important that you have the required resource files from the original tool that you will be importing from. We'll take a quick look at our documentation on our website and I'll provide a link to that in our summary for this video so that you can see the specific tools that are supported. If you do not have the necessary files, unfortunately the process cannot be completed. There are some ways to translate other file types into supported files, but those will be covered under the specific videos moving forward. Also, make sure that the source files are on the same computer as Altium Designer. Extensions make the translating process possible. These extensions are installed by default and important for the import process. In a moment, we'll take a look at the supported EDA tools in our documentation link, but I do want to point out that the import process is fairly simple. It's a matter of following the wizard, being guided through starting the import process, selecting the files you'd like to import, and starting the import process. However, that doesn't mean that your translation is going to be perfect, so we always let you know that cleanup is generally required. For instance, some tools can be imported as entire projects, whereas other tools may need to import the schematic and then the layout and then synchronize those together. Again, these needs are covered in each of the tool specific videos to follow. As mentioned earlier, I wanted to be able to show you the documentation link. Now this particular documentation link goes into detail as far as the extension information, general information needed, but the important section I want to point out is that it covers all supported tools that can be imported into Altium Designer along with specific files required, as well as the versions supported. For instance, taking a look at Cadence ORCAD, you can see here that we support up to ORCAD version 16X. What's really nice about this documentation as well, is that clicking here would take me to the instructions for the specific import. Just a tip, there is a video coming for ORCAD imports. As mentioned, the import process is simple. All I need is a blank working environment to get started, then go into File, then Import Wizard. As it loads, you'll notice all the tools that I can select from, as it gives me these options to choose from. So all I have to do is hit Next. Here are all the different tools and their related file types. So the wizard is pretty helpful in guiding you through this process. Again, if I had ORCAD design files, I would simply select ORCAD designs and here are the files that I would need to complete the process. Now just a tip, you don't necessarily have to have all of these files, but if you do, it can be helpful. Here, I would click Next and walk through the process. This concludes our video. Hopefully, it provides a foundation for importing design files from whichever tool you have need of. Just a quick summary, importing and exporting allows you to collaborate, revision, and complete designs from other EDA tools. The import process is usually fairly easy to do. Certain design files are required, and if you don't have the required files, unfortunately you cannot complete the process. The imported designs still require work to verify design integrity. Make sure that everything has translated correctly, such as net names are on the PCB correctly. They are also on the schematics as well. Of course you want to make sure your design is still complete. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this and the additional CAD tool specific videos very helpful.